Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things and being crusted and geeky. It is Tuesday, the 20th of June, 2023, and I'm here, John Box, the Black Needle Society Box. Oh, my name is Cece, my pronouns are she, they. Um, we're going to be unboxing the Black Needle Society novels and needles page to screen. Very excited about this. I have avoided spoilers, so let's see what we have. Y'all, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Okay, but now I have to figure out how to open it. Scissors. Scissors, that's how we open it. All the scissors, all the scissors. All right. Oh, I was right. I know what this is. It is a blanket. What is on it? Music of the Night Blanket designed by Print Yourself Mad. Dammy is going to try to steal this from me. The Phantom of the Opera has been adopt adapted many times, but the original source, ma source material is by Gaston Leroux. Curl up with this blanket for movie night to watch our favorite adaptation, the 2004 film based on Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical. Let me stand up and see if I can show you there's the chandelier. Oh, I just went my uh, calorie yell for today. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to hide that from Dammy because Dammy will try to steal that from me. I was just needing one of these the other day. Um, this is Bag End thread sorter made by Wild Rainbow Co. It's a dangerous business trying to keep all of your threads sorted out. Use the Lord of the Rings inspired thread sorter before starting off on your next cross stitch journey. It says it's a dangerous business Frodo going out of your door and that's the door to the hobbit hole and you can put your flosses here. Also I have done this on another floss uh, sorter. I got the, I use those tiny round circle labels and put one above each hole and then use the, I don't have one over here, the friction erasable pens to write the co the color on. And then when you're done, you put them all the way, you can just use the er eraser of the friction pen to erase them all off. Very cool. Okay, this, They've given us several things that I'm finding difficulty in opening today. Could be I'm tired after a very long work day. Okay, here we go. No mourners, no funerals, microfiber cloth designed by the Black Needle Society. Things can get a little messy in Ketterdam's The Barrel. Use this microfiber cloth to clean up after your next heist or brawl. This cloth is perfect for clearing dust or for cleaning glasses and or magnifiers or wiping down screens to watch Shadow and Bone on Netflix. I love these because uh, glasses, I always have to clean my glasses. That's very cool. Ooh, pretty. This is the Duke and I fabric, but hand dyed by Grace Notes Fabrics. We love the blue tones of Daphne's gowns in the first season of Bridgerton. We asked Corinne to dye this Gorgeous fabric so you can stitch in Bridgerton style while watching the newest season on Netflix or listening to the audiobooks. That's gorgeous. Um, and I got 16 count Ada, and this is a fat eighth. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. Next up. Pure Imagination Book Sleeve, handmade by Love You More Studio. You'll be sure to find golden tickets inside this book sleeve. You can also store books or cross-stitch projects inside, and they'll be sure to stay safe from chocolate rivers on your factory tour. We're fans of the 1971 Gene Wilder adaptation, but we're curious to see the new movie in 2023. How about you? So it's all the characters, and Pink is choosing this point to play with her very loud toy where you bat the ball around the thing. So if you hear a noise, that's pink. She's just making her presence known. And then on the inside, oh, chocolate bars. That's cute. Very cute. Okay, next up. 
<gasps> Ooh. Katniss, the girl on fire. Candle. Uh, handmade by Wick Wish Candle Co. Add a little mood lighting to your movie night with this candle inspired by The Hunger Games. You may want to rewatch or reread the series before November when the adaptation of the prequel novel, The Ballard of Songbirds and Snakes, is released for the big screen. Now she's playing with a foil ball. She's expressing her frustration that I had to go into the office today. This is charcoal, black pepper, bergamot, amber, and sandalwood. And it smells so good. So good. All right. Flosses. Ooh. Woo. Okay. This is the exclusive Practical Magic silk set, hand dyed by Bestitch Me. Practical Magic is the family favorite at the Landis house. We are thrilled to send this set of silks inspired by the film, adapted from Alice Hoffman's novel of the same name. So these are all 10 yards. This is Practical Magic. Chocolate cake for breakfast. Maria's Curse. And Midnight Margaritas. Count me in for those Midnight Margaritas. Ah. Oh, Y'all, I'm tired. I'm just trying to show you them all together to see how they might work together. Look at that. Ooh, those margaritas really pop. Gorgeous. Okay. Here's our needle minder. Remember, you don't have to tear. Even though there's little notches, you don't have to. It's actually easier to just undo the Ziploc if you don't tear it. Oh, fun. That's super cute. Exclusive page to screen needle minder designed by the Enamel Library. We asked Paris to create a movie lover's bookshelf for this special needle minder. We love the fun elements she's chosen to decorate with from the theater. Do you spot any favorite adaptations of your own on the shelf? So it's got Bridgerton, Agatha Christie, Hunger Games, Princess Bride, and The Fellowship of the Ring. Very, very cute. Uh, I'm trying to decide which to do next. Let's do this one. I think this box holds the record for the number, most number of plastic bags that you have to get into. Here we go. It's a tote bag. The book was better. Designed by Kitster Kronk, going to see a beloved book on the big screen. We've got the perfect bag for bringing a sweater along or any other movie going needs. Let everyone know the universal truth. The book was better. Super cute. And it's got a, um, just a pale blue lining. I love these bags, especially because if you spill something on them, they're very easy to clean. Ask me how I know. Love it. Okay. And then I think this is the final item. Where are my scissors? Because I've got to cut into this. Oh my goodness gracious. This is epic. The Adventure, Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. You see, but you do not observe. Artwork. Uh, so this is the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes book and pattern trio. Artwork by Mrs. Peggotty Arts. We are so excited to send you a reprint of the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes with three new patterns included between the pages by Mrs. Pegotti. Sherlock Holmes entered the public domain as of 2023, and we couldn't resist sending a real page to screen source material in your box. We hope you enjoy reading about Sherlock and Watson's adventures. A few of our favorite adaptations of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's work include the 2009 and 2011 movies, not to mention Sherlock, the BBC series in 2010, or more recently, the Enola Holmes spinoffs on Netflix, which are also based on books by Nancy Springer. 
Okay, so let me flip through here and find the patterns to show you. Okay, page 24 has a pattern. Sorry, I'm trying to get to the... Okay, this is Irene Adler. Very pretty. It's 130 by 184 stitches. And then the next pattern is on 137. There's Watson. Also 130 by 184. And then page 257. There is our Sherlock, which I assume is also the same size. 130 by 184. I'm wondering if she, um, if they, I'm not, I don't know uh, the designer's name, Mrs. Pagotti Arts. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to assume gender. I, assu I assume Mrs. But uh, I'm wondering if she was inspired uh, for the portraits by a particular um, film or TV adaptation. Very cool. I'm a huge fan of Sherlock. Please bring it back someday, BBC. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. Okay, so we have the book with the three patterns. We have the gorgeous silk flosses. Put that back in there so I don't lose them. We have the super cute needle minder. We have the candle. Smells so good. We have the book sleeve. We have the fabric, which I did not put back in the sleeve, but I will. We have the microfiber cloth. We have the thread sorter. We have the book was better tote bag. And I wish I could show you all this better, but um, just trust me that it's gorgeous. The Phantom of the Opera blanket. Let's see, did I miss anything? No. So if you purchase this box, we are having a digital book club this coming Saturday, June the 24th at 12 p.m. Central. Uh, a link will be emailed to everyone who purchased the box. We voted and we will be discussing the first book in the All Souls trilogy, which is not really a trilogy anymore because there's a book four and there's a book five coming out. Uh, a Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Um, and there is also a TV series. Try to think what channel or what service it's on. I cannot recall, but look for A Discovery of Witches and you'll find it. And I will be there. As a reminder, I am a rep for the Black Needle Society. Um, it's been raining today. My hair is something extra. I am a rep for the Black Needle Society, which means I get the every other month boxes uh, and share those with you. I actually purchased this box because, hello, book lover, TV lover, movie lover. How can I go wrong with this box? And I didn't. But you can save 5% in the vault, which is where they put all the extras from boxes at the blackneedlesociety.com with the coupon code JAVAPEARL5. J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L-1. No. J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L5. I'm putting it on the screen too because it's been all day. Um, okay. Well, I think that is it for me. I will be back with you first weekend in July. Let's see, the fourth is on a Tuesday. Tuesday, Monday. Yes, I will be, my plan is to record on Saturday, July the 1st. Um, and I have some FOs, well, as you can see here, uh, as well as some other stuff to talk about. So I'll see you then. Until then, happy crafting.
read a book, watch a movie, watch TV, be inspired. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.